Greetings, NHL 94 fans. This is Trojan 1979 from Edge of 94 Midwest. I am bringing in one of the world's very best at NHL 94, King Raff, into the booth with me. How are you doing today? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm doing tremendously well. Uh, I heard you're on the mend, uh, but you can still pick up a controller. Yeah, I'm getting better day by day. I uh, had uh, elbow surgery, which put me into a wrist uh, brace, but um, but actually doing really, really well. Uh, each day kind of getting more uh, use of the arm, and before long, I hope to be sort of back in, in regular action. Well, I'm glad you're, uh, you're feeling better. I'm glad that you can function. Uh, uh, that's, that's always a struggle. Um, and, uh, but here are two guys that have no, no trouble functioning at all. Angry J93 and Bob Kodelsky. Uh, Angry J really on a tear with SNES as of late. Known for his Genesis prowess. Uh, Bob Kodelsky, a uh, long time, uh, high end contender, always in the mix, uh, in these tournaments. And, uh, we have, uh, our tiered system. So, it looks like uh, Angry Jay is going to have one, three, and five if we get to five games, and then two and four uh, for the home team for Bob Kadelski. We have the Blues, we have the Maple Leafs. Why don't you break down this matchup? Yeah, I know it's interesting um, playing a lot of SNES. You know, uh, the the player skill sets as far as individual skills, it's 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 a little more muted than you would see in Gens. But you see Clark coming in the middle here like I think weight checking and then really taking the time to recognize how the players are performing on ice. I think neither of these guys will be bashful into swapping their players around for, for unconventional starters if they don't feel like they're playing well. And I know Angry Jay just loves himself some Brett Hull. By the way, stick around. End of the broadcast, we are going to do the drawing for the Ch Chris Chelios jersey for the participants uh, in this. So one lucky fan will win that. Here we go. Window Clark gets checked by none other than Brett Hull. Hull off to Craig Janney. To Shanahan playing at center. And a quick one-timer and now cleared by the Maple Leafs. Gilmore tried to feed uh, someone on the, on the wing. I couldn't tell who it was, but now the, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the net's off the moorings. Yeah, I think that was Clark coming in for the one-timer there. Um, would have gone in if, if it wasn't intercepted. So, um, you know, it, it, both these guys are just going to be tremendous in their setups. Um, that little flick that Bob K did out there, something that I've seen him do a lot to, to great um, success, is going to be good to see as well throughout the series. So 14 L, help me out with that. That's, That's what uh, it... Andrew Chuck. <laughs> so, oh, and, and, okay. <laughs> so yeah, and... he's – Skates like cement out there, but uh, holy pylon! Clark. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he is a he is a brick, but he's also you know super heavy. That's why his skating's like that. He's slow, but the I think the reason why um, Bob K's got him in there is because he could hit like a ton of bricks. So, McCown intercepted. Butcher to Hall to Janney, and he beats him stick side, and we're all tied at one. That is uh, what we affectionately call the Bob K Memorial Timeout. Uh, I learned K. about that this tournament. <laughs> yeah, it's a little sad because Bob K is obviously alive and well and, in fact, playing uh, in this very series. Thank God. We you know, we recently lost a, a Tecmo member in Louis B. And uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad that Bob K is with us and, and as well. Uh, Janny now on the wing after the faceoff to Shanahan. We're tied at one. Trojan with King Rack if you're just joining us. Not King Wrath, if you saw one of our prior uh, uh, broadcasts uh, in Minneapolis a couple years ago. Uh, but here comes uh, Brown taking down from behind here, Jamie McCown. And you're going to see a lot of defensive usage just because of the weight and harder knockdown. Yeah, totally, totally right. And, um, you know, defense, the name of the game here, you'll see a lot of guys, much like both of these guys are doing, park themselves in front while we got a breakaway. Oh, what a great save. Uh, but you'll see a lot of defense where they park themselves in front and sort of check the guy last minute, really clog that net. Not as much chasing, I expect, from neither of these guys. Gilmore had position, but the pass was late, and now we're at the end of one, all tied up, one nothing. Excuse me, one one. Excuse me. Yeah, good series. I mean, good good period for both guys. Both guys had their chances, capitalized when they need to. Both made some good uh, goalie saves. And again, for those who aren't familiar with the SNES game, goalies. Uh, uh, pretty much useless as far as stats. That you really got to use your manual goalie if you expect to have any saves. Ella checked by Shanahan, who gave it up to Hall, and now he's taken down. And McCown picks it up. Can't hit Gilmore, hits the back of his skates. 
Shanny into the zone. And a one-timer from Shanahan. Passed it to Hall, to Janney, and saved. Yeah, saved with the manual goalie if uh, anyone wants to come back and watch that one. Uh, otherwise, I think that would have gone in. And that's been the difference in this tournament. We've seen some tremendous uh, manual goalie. And already we've seen some of the goalie moves being utilized by Bob Kodelski. That's something we tend to see uh, not done in this version where people just get center mass with the goalie and see what happens. Anderchuk with a shot. Boy, he is yeah, slow out there. The, the, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, the, and, and what's interesting, well, I know they're going to change teams each, each game, but... Um, but it's interesting, one game, Andrew Truck, if he starts getting speed, which you could really see uh, in the SNES version when they're hot, uh, he becomes uh, even more ridiculous out there. So clearly he's not feeling hot today. Being held up, and now here comes Andrew Truck all the way up and loses it. Brown tries to scoop it up, but Count has it. Now, nope, now picked up by Janney. No one really wants to hold on the puck too long right now. Tries to go back door and finds one of the 12 posts. <laughs> out it goes. And in the crease, trying to get a one-timer to haul, no go. Brown has it, now loses it. And check from behind, no penalty. A little bit of leg jitter there, could have led to a goal. Still scoreless here in the second, uh, since the end of the first. Yeah, really good defense by both guys. And, and again, you're seeing a lot of that clogging, stopping opportunities, and really tremendous goalie play by both. You know, the goalie is, it's really easy to lose control because uh, if you hold one direction, that goalie really flies out the way. So it's almost like you have to tap uh, a bit, you know, uh, side to side to get him to, in, into position. So it's, it's really quite a skill. Deontay Jenkins asking about uh, p potato skins. I don't think I've had them since I was a kid. I think I liked them then. I, I think it's an okay snack. Yeah, loaded, loaded potato skins too, if I'm thinking of the right thing too, where you get some cheese and sour cream and bacon on there is even better. I know we have a riveting battle going on here between juggernauts and a championship match where money's involved, but for my money, chicken and biscuit, man, that's where it was at when I was a kid. <laughs> I did not have those uh, as a kid as much. I think it'd be hilariously fun to have a league where your players were named after, after you know, ranked things like cars and board games and stacks that you ate on Bob, Friday nights, like pizza rolls. <laughs> Bob K known for this weird move behind the net, too. Um, seems to work. Oh, yeah, the setup, too. Taken down from behind, and now... Uh, oh, off of the other... That's the 11th post there. A lot of posts in this run. And goes to the glove side. Shanahan for Butcher and Brown. It's 2-1 here at 110 in the third period. Yeah, fortunate for AJ there. Post one way and uh, Shani buries the, uh, the nice wrister the other way. St. Louis up 2-1 here. Angry Jay up one. Dave Ellett trying to find anything. And the puck is clear. Shani with another chance. Poffin puts on the brakes, ah. puts the pads down. Great patience. Just under two minutes now remaining in regulation. Gilmore or Gil Less, Anderchuk turned away by Cujo. Butcher feeds it up. Janney has it. Now Hall to Janney. He ran out of room, but it was a good idea. Yeah. Puts the brakes on, taken over by Potvin. Is that Ricci 9? Who is that? I think that can be Cullen um, on, on the Toronto Maple Leafs. So someone has to fact check me on that one. I will always defer to your roster knowledge. <laughs> I, the guy who I defer to is actually in the game playing AJ, so uh, I usually know the starters. Oh, man, what a game. Two to yeah, one this is – we're going to – two seconds here. I, I don't think – No. You can – oh, it's going to be on this side of the ice. So uh, Ang Angry Jay is going to take game one and, uh, well, on to game two. So, Yeah, quite a battle um, between – Bob K and AJ in the first game. I mean, it, there was some seriously great defensive plays. Uh, it it might have not looked like that. You're watching this. You're saying, "Oh, just save, you know, easy save by the goalie." I can guarantee you, either of these guys would score a ton versus your average player. Uh, just, just uh, well fought by both. 
see the, the passing percentage pretty low for Bob Kane in that one. A lot yeah. of pucks going off the back of Gilmore. Could have been a different story if you connected on some of those. But uh, we're going to have a Vancouver and Quebec. Quebec. So uh, another team that uh, you know Angry Jay has been known to do damage with is Quebec on any system. Yeah. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting because uh, Vancouver, they don't have a lot of these heavyweights, right? So Bob K will get the home ice. Uh, you know, AJ had home ice game one, so we're going to see if that makes a difference. But Vancouver, you know, the name of their game is always uh, speed, and, and, and uh, that's essentially it. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if that translates. It's, speed is not necessarily a huge advantage in SNES as compared to Gens. Um but, you know, um, it, it really depends game to game. And I, I actually like Quebec a lot because of the different options. You can go heavy, you have some shot power. And if, like I said, if things aren't working, you could always, uh, you have options in the lineup. And you may find number nine, Mike Ricci on Quebec. So keep that in your mind. So that's what I was thinking. At least, at least yeah. it was the right number, right? Yeah, same color scheme, two of the teams, blue. I was told that one of these games, they had a potty break. It's just pre-recorded. We don't know the results. We simply know the teams that were used game to game. And by the way, yes. So, sneak box. Kane. Uh, is that a uh, is that an ale? That is a yes. It is a a local brewery here in Ocean, New Jersey. Um, uh, Kane is the brewery, and this is a, an American pale ale called Sneak Box. They make a, a wicked IPA as well um, called Kane Head Hot. If, I, I, I would, I would go for the pale ale because the IPAs oh. send me off, just especially summertime. And they're all the, just the allergies go off, and I'm I'm dead. Next uh, time I uh, I come down, I will bring you a pack of this. This is you'll love this. It's great. I'll get you some to do Glaris to take home. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Or or whatever's around here. Uh, beer swaps are the, like one of the better yeah. things of, of of traveling friends. Oh, for sure. I see controllers moving. All right, here we go. There it is, the Quebec Vancouver matchup. Uh, Chad, not as lively as I'd hoped it would. Hopefully, uh, uh, someone ca catches on here. <laughs> Feel free to poke a couple people you if you want. You posted in the uh, the stream on the. Uh, uh, I, I posted in our uh, Edge thing. I thought we weren't supposed to double post, but if you want to post for me, I would. Yeah, I would. Let me go do that because that's usually the championship. <laughs> I thought people might care more. I do know that Thunderdome is also broadcasting right now uh, for Tecmo, so they're in their final mm -hmm. four. And that's the largest Tecmo Online one there is. So just timing happens. Okay. Which is a great run tournament just for anyone who likes Tecmo. Um, so uh, the talent there is ridiculous. And actually one of uh, the guys that does a lot of our graphics, uh, Levi, is involved in one of those matchups. And then DPS, who has been in uh, our live event as well, is also involved in that. So... Is, is, is there a game he's not good at? All right, here we go. We're off. Sackett puts it on McLean. McLean to Yurke Lube tries to get it to Bure, who loses it. There's Curtis Lecision now. And puts it right on Matt Sundin. Tries to get past McLean. No go. Hextall scoops it up. Pass is not on target. Jeff Cordell picks it up. Lecision intercepts the pass that would have been for Bure. McLean scoops up the loose puck. Trevor Linden to Bure. And stopped by... Uh, that's not decision. Duchesne. Steve Duchesne. By Mir. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Cortnell. Stopped by Duchesne. I don't know who 11 is. Uh, that'll be Owen Nolan. Oh, thank you. So you got Nolan, you got Sundin, looks like... Uh, I missed and then Sackix in there as well. Yeah. All right, so Bure around the back of the net. Boy, he's fast. Yeah, and AJ Stanton, you know, for the most part, again, just clogging that middle, waiting for Bob K to come out of there, not really chasing him, putting a little pressure, but not getting out of position. Sundin taken down by Cortnell, popped right back up. So he's got the – Bob K knows the, the the mash the button to get back right, right back up after a check. Yeah. That's a, that is very powerful. Um, it's something ev everyone should really – Put into their arsenal because there's no downside to doing it and, and in fact a lot of times you could just uh you know you, you you not only get right back up you hold the guy and, and steal the puck it's uh super powerful whoa 
Cornell picks up the loose puck. The decision is there. Trying to find any option. And is turned away by Hextall. Looked like he had an open uh, window for a moment. Here comes Lumi on a breakaway. And oh. one's on at a time, but I think Hextall was on it. We're tied nothing all in yeah, game two. Yeah, that was two. a close one. Wow, I mean, 2-1 game one, and now we got a 0-0 first period. Uh, I don't think it's for a lack of trying on offense or any tentativeness. I just think both of you guys are playing real solid, smart defense and, and really succeeding in their checks. Yeah, the, the, the defense is guessing right. Uh, mm -hmm. And when you have that many bodies in the lane, you have the advantage. Burry intercepts the pass. He's got a breakaway. Duchesne is there, and he's getting held up. Still gets passed. The puck is loose. Linden has it. Possible mm -hmm. pass is intercepted. Was that Cullen? Uh, no, no. Uh, the I'm sorry, Sackick. I'm sorry. That was yeah, the other. Yeah. That was Toronto. I, I my brain. Is, <laughs> see, see what I'm doing? <laughs> well, it's all melding together. Decision. Stalking Burry. Here comes Sackick. Check from behind by Trevor Linden. It's three on three. And the pass oh. just takes a little bit too long to get there. Burry crashes in. Uh, interference delayed here. X going to give it to you. Oh. Extra. And taken down from behind. Lume has it. Real real high percentage of, of check success. You know, you could tell uh, there hasn't been many missed checks, where, which usually lead to some goals. These guys are just uh, planting them and, and, and being real successful on both ends. Puck is clear, picked up by Lecision. Owen Nolan back to Duchesne. Tries to feed Sundin on the wing who hangs up behind the net. Brings it back around just in front of the slot. Is finally taken down. Oh. Nolan. And uh, he's checked. And now here comes Cortnall. Takes the zone. Centering pass. There's no one there. There's just too much humanity. <laughs> Yeah, so nothing, nothing being held. Boy, we, a second, we've seen this before. <laughs> Just back and <laughs> forth. Yeah, now two different teams. Oh, this could be something. Oh, and there's, oh, no. there's that's the 10th post. We're <laughs> counting down. Lume finally oh. beats Hextall. Just too many open opportunities there. And finally, that's, Vancouver gets on the board. Literally a reverse of what we saw in the first game. We had a post by Bob K, led to an AJ. Uh, goal on the other end, and this time we have a post by AJ leads to a goal by Bob K on the other end, so we call them even on that series. Well, here we go. Line change here coming for Angry J. So for the record, Angry J is up one game to nothing in this five-game series. What you see the numbers above are actually the, the seeding, the one and the three seed doing battle here. $90 yeah, AJ, goes to the winner, 60 goes to the second place. That's nice. That's a, you know, a, that's a nice chunk of change for this tournament. Um, you know, I think as you mentioned, uh, Troy, in the beginning, AJ really stepping up his uh, SNES game, uh, especially in the, I'll call it the modern SNES era, probably last, ever since COVID, really, the SNES community and, and players have really stepped up. Uh, super tough competition, so this is uh, not easy to do. And not taking anything away from him, we had a, a lot of notable absences. We did we did not have Jammer. We did not have K, uh, K Fed. Um, guys that wanted to be available just did not have uh, the availability to be in it. So, um, you know, be interesting to see. Uh, I always want to see if like Mikael. I think is that is that is how you say. Oh it? yeah, he's he's still the goat. I mean, um, yeah, Mikael. He's he's literally won every tournament he's played in. So it's kind of uh, kind of scary about how good he is. He does things that no one else does. So it's a treat when he can play, um, but he, he hasn't played uh, as many. Oh, K Kamensky had him dead to rights. He would have beat him, beat him stick side, decided to send a souvenir to a fan. Unfortunate for AJ here. He's got some opportunities. This could be the the reverse of that home ice away ice here now, where AJ's away and he's just not capitalizing on opportunities. Bure dancing around, finding something, someone. And now finally up to Nolan, and it's cleared. Almost pobbled into the net. And Linden makes him pay at the one-timer assist from Pavel Bure. It's 2-0. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really an uphill battle for Quebec here. And uh, with two minutes to go, they need two just to force an overtime. It's going to be really hard, especially with the way Vancouver and Bob K are playing. And the speed you can play some keep away if you can avoid getting bodied here. Cortnall getting bodied himself. <laughs> 
And uh, I guess Lecision, uh feeling generous, hands it back to Vancouver. Now there's that move. That little flip that he does towards and, and recovers the puck. That you know, very unique to Bob Cam. Haven't seen many other SNES players do it, but it's uh, it is very effective. Adam and Chad, welcome. We're under one minute right now in game two. Angry Jay leading Bob Kodelski oh. in the series, but trailing in this game. Yeah, that's another one timer that that maybe would have gone in if he, if Quebec was home, but um, just not Quebec's night tonight. And uh, Bob K, the Vancouver Canucks, make him pay two nothing shutout. Yeah, incredible. Uh, so we're all tied at one of the series. I think that's probably what the fans want, and uh, we're gonna have game A San three. Jose and Anaheim game. So they're gonna go with the the bottom tier teams, uh, San Jose and Anaheim. So it'll be interesting to see this time we're going to go back. AJ going to be Anaheim at home. Uh, Bob K going to be away with San Jose. It should be interesting. And of course, Angry J, the San Jose Sharks are his, that's his team uh, mm -hmm. in, 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 in real life. And so he has uh, this uncanny ability to take the garbage that they are in NHL 94 and, and just polish that turd into something shiny. Yeah. No, I mean, what you know, AJ literally wrote the book on on the players and the teams, uh, which is he why he's my go-to for um, uh, for player references. So yeah, he can make any team look great, even uh, even these bottom tiers. But I will say this: what's what's going to be interesting here, and I do think there's an advantage here being the bottom tier for home. Uh, in general, I think if you flipped a bunch of coins, you know, when I say if there's a team that's hot or cold, you can kind of tell on the ice. Tends to, fit, you know, look, we have two games so far, 2-1 and 2-0, both home teams won. So um, it, it's going to be interesting, interesting to see if Anaheim has a bigger advantage being at home, regardless of the players, or if some of those guys like Wilson and, uh, you know, the defenseman really for San Jose, um, you know, step up here. And, 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 and by the way, Anaheim, oh, I think they, yeah, Kasatanov is on Anaheim as well. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting who they put in here and see who sort of if anyone's got that extra burst of speed to cause a lot of problems. By the way, see uh, Adam and Dan K are in uh, chat, so welcome guys. Uh, Dan did some commentary on a, a couple uh, of, of series, so glad to see him out there. Dan K is a uh, he might be the the ultimate color guy. He he, he's so unique I, I can't put another <laughs> word on it and it's a good thing it's not a bad thing it's a, it's a, it's a very good thing oh, I, yeah. ha I have to figure out how to uh, properly integrate with it um, and that's my failure <laughs> not his because I love him being him I yeah, you know <laughs> the, he's on a, a, the group known as the New Whale Order um, and they have their own uh, stream when they stream games it's more like a podcast because I don't even know if the game is relevant to what they're discussing but I, I find myself unable to stop listening so it's, it's very captivating welcome uh danny k and adam might be bob k um so i'm not sure if that's bob k no no that's chat. that's that's dan k no no the the other adam oh i i don't know could be could be i know his uh, secret persona not actually bob kudelski from the uh that's Auto that's really a shame, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah, sorry to burst your bubble, viewers, but uh, it's not the form you heard it coming. here first. Game three coming up here. I don't know if they hit the reset button or what happened, but for those watching, I think you got to be a uh, hit the subscribe button and you'll be able to comment and chat. Yep, you just need to uh, uh, one for one minute, and then yep. you're then you're in the mix. Doesn't yeah, Adam matter. Giles is Bob K. So you're ah, close. Ah, yes. Oh, there's another Adam. Too many Adams. That, I'm sorry, it's Giles, right? I, I don't know how you pronounce it in Canadian. It's, it's like Jif. It's not Gif, it's Jif. <laughs> That's also controversial. <laughs> Fighting words. Choosy uh, moms, choose Gif. <laughs> so we have the secret identity revealed here. Well, we got a 1-1 one -one series. And we got the bottom of the barrel here, roughly. I mean, there's some, you could argue that there's some worse teams out there. And I totally missed the lineups, but we'll figure it out as, as the game is un unfolding here. All right, game three, Trojan with King Raph. Angry Jay with seven off 
Bob Kadelski with Archer Scurvy oh. unable to stop that early goal. 16 seconds in, it's one nothing. Yeah, fake the one timer. We got the Memorial Bob K timeout. Bob K Memorial timeout. Sorry, 16 seconds into the game. It is Giles. Troy Loney with a nice check taken down by Mr. GM bucket wearing mm -hmm. Doug Wilson apparently. Pat Falloon oh. with the back pass trying to feed anyone. Wilson picks it up, takes the zone, 24 and 24 cry. Pat Falloon going short side, Guy Airbear is there. And now here comes Kassetan off the other way. Seminoff to Troy Loney, to Terry Yake. Ooh, that could have been in too. Terry Berzan chasing it down, trying to find a passing alley is poked by LaDussier. And picked up by anyone, anyone at oh, all. Bueller. Turn around. Bueller. Wilkinson. And it goes oh. all the way across his face. Wilkinson from Wilson and Kelly Kizio. It's 1 1. Finds the puck in his own net finally. Uh, with the assist of Bob K actually switching to the <laughs> player to find it goes coast to coast. Wilkinson. Nothing new. Oh, expect. that's the ninth post. At least. This, this whole series. At least twice as many posts as goals. 100%. 100% on that. Oh, Falloon, breakaway. Kassetanov is there, turned away by Aber. Nice save. Very nice. And, and Bob K continued to show that move uh, to great effectiveness. That's at least three or four times we've seen that. Oh, great interception by Dougie Wilson. That was probably a goal. He doesn't stop it, but that's a goal. And uh, we've seen now one timers that have gone the other way. And now it's 2 1 Bob K over Angry Jay. That's a beauty, man. That's a jiffable goal. The one pass, back pass to the center for the slapper in the top corner. Kareem Sanders saying Team Echo. Don't know what that means, but uh, I don't know if that's like a sponsor thing. I don't think we're wearing Echo gear. <laughs> Sorry, brother. Or is it, <laughs> Echo. Is, is Echo that a hockey Limited brand? Ne no, it's not a hockey brand, but it could have been a 90s brand of, um, I think it's more like a skater brand. Skater dive a tournament coming Ooh. up next, apparently. Uh, here we go. Just under 15 seconds now. Barazan buying time. Maybe one ru more rush here for Dougie Wilson. Runs out of time. And uh, we're a 2-1 into the second. Yeah, great period. It's actually the, the most offense we've seen <laughs> in the game with the with two of the least uh, offensive-minded teams here. But like I said, it you know, it, it's it the the breadth and depth of, of the player skills really kind of gets compressed in these, uh, in this, in this version of the game, in my feeling where um, you could really have, it, it, the teams are a lot more equal for the most part. Ducier looking for Semenov, finds, uh, well, I don't know what 26 hours is, but I should have paid attention. The Lions oh. doesn't matter, Semenov from Bawa. Robin Bawa. Robin. Not, don't Robin. call me Batman Bawa. <laughs> Yeah, I think um, one of the few African-American players, if I'm not mistaken, uh, back in the 90s, probably Bawa. Berizan. Uh, intercepted. Here's Wilkinson. Scoops it up. Now goes the other way. No, my name is not after condoms, <laughs> but if it makes you laugh, that's fine. Made me laugh. That's a good one. <laughs> yes, he's absolutely the first person to ever ask that. <laughs> Wink. Trojan brand. Yake looks really slow right now. Bawa with the shot turned away. Bawa to Ba. That would have been funnier if it was a Detroit it was good. team on the ice. Okay, here comes Yake. Hey. Seminoff. Shot turned away by Irbe. Wilkinson. Neil looking for a friend. Can't find one. And now scooped up by Abear. Off the back of Yake, no problem. Casatana says, I got you. And Semenov goes right, five hole, can't get past. Yake scoops it up in neutral ice. Finds Semenov. As the one timer. Mm. And we've got a possible Ooh. penalty shot here. Yes, I we do. I think that's a penalty shot. This is interesting. Balloon versus A Bear, why not? What an angle. Oh, moving! Oh, throwing out the pads. What is going? Oh, oh my God! Oh. 
I should go back to the replay for I those. Know. I don't know if that was uh, uh, sportsmanlike, but it worked. Cream's really excited about the condoms uh, right now in chat. I'm happy. Oh, the net came off too. Three two, by the way, is your score. There we go. Echo Unlimited. Yeah. I, 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 was... I never owned the Echo Unlimited brand. I never owned Tommy Hilfiger either. All those '90s brands probably wore Levi's. I don't know. <laughs> Wrangler. I think I had bum equipment for a while. Real comfortable clothes to keep you single. <laughs> Looking for it, yep. Ledusier intercepts Samanoff. Tries to get a pass shot at the end. We're going into the third. 3-2. Bob Gadelski over Angry Jay. We are tied at one in the series, but Bob K has the lead going into the third. Uh... Yeah, Bob K. For the first time, we have the away team uh, winning and taking advantage here. Um, but AJ, ooh, post again. Um, looking to come back with the Anaheim Ducks. Had his chances here. Falloon. Just... Wow, what a quick juke there. Urbane bears in on the apples. And that took all of 21 seconds in the third. It's 4-2. Yeah, yeah. It, getting scary now with the uh, with how, how well Anna, uh, sorry, San Jose skating with the puck here. I don't know if Robin Bauer may come out if AJ's looking to uh, maybe change his lineup, but he's still feeling comfortable with who he's got in there. Semenov on the wing. Gets absolutely destroyed in almost an own goal there with all the momentum. And a oh. shot. Nope. Turned away. Kizio does not get it off his tape. And a yeah, shot. I wonder if, it was a, if that was a misfire or if he meant to hold on and do an extra juke. Either way, uh, still a save. Keeps Anaheim in this game. Semenov to Yake and tries to go floater does not get past mm. Locker gets up and we'll have an icing yeah this is huge uh, really dangerous off the face of if you win if Anaheim wins they have an instant opportunity they do win come right in uh, beautifully beautifully done by the manual goalie there really Stop aggressive that. onto the short side yeah and that's what you kind of want to do when you win uh, pick a side short or, or I'll go you know fake to the other side but um Great stop by, by Bob K there with the manual. Another one. Well, it just seems to know exactly where to go. Understands the rhythm of the move. And another icing call. I don't even know who Amber Rose is, so um, you can you can have her if she if she, if she's willing. Uh, and the excuse me, that was Casatana from Semenov. Yeah. Right off the face off. You called it before. This time it you get some payoff from uh, the icing. And exactly now it's four three. Right. Yeah, worked, uh, stopped one time, and virtually the same on the second time, managed to squeak it through Urbay. Icing call was, was deadly there. The Bob K did the flick, almost got his own puck, but this time just missed it, and that cost him dearly on that one. I don't know if he intended to shoot it there. Uh, he had a friend coming from underneath the, the goal line level. But uh, anyway, here comes Wilson resetting. Coming up in 30 seconds. The check is there. This is it. Breakaway. Oh. Behind the back of the net. 10 seconds. And a oh. shot. He doesn't do the one-timer. Lonnie Loach <laughs> and retire to four. Now, I don't know if he passed it or shot it. Either way, it goes into the net. The the dodge of the check by Baba was huge there. Um, and for whatever reason, the other the San Jose defenseman was just hanging around the Urbe. Uh, really We're going to get free Hockey King rap, by the way. Totally, uh, totally. What more can you ask for? Two one goal games to start it off. Now we're in game I mean, if we only had more Memorial timeouts. <laughs> There'd be one after every. There'd be four of them by now. Um, but that was uh, – Bob K's going to want that one back. But well, well-disciplined well play by AJ. He knew he had just enough time to, to get a good chance, waited for his opportunity and capitalized. Lonnie Loach checked from behind. No one cares. And a check. Kasatanov doing work, getting on uh -oh. defense. Uh -oh. And Falloon gets checked by the goalie, but Berezin has an opportunity picked up by Abair to Semenov, who has a lot of people chasing him. Dougie Wilson scoops it up now to Wilkinson, now to Kizio, now to Berezin. Berezin takes the zone. Nice One check. timer Ooh. off the post. That's seven. Running out of post in this one. Leducier, Semenov, Yake. 
Getting held, getting checked. Kizio scoops it up. Now Bears in the other way. Now back up to Kizio. Sorry, kick in any time. Trying to set up one time. Oh <laughs> oh, yes. Right out and meet them <laughs> for Rohan. <laughs> what a save. What a goal. Oh! Goodness, one cyber hat trick. Lonnie Loach on the apple and the game winner for Angry Jay here in game three. Up two games to one. Up two games to one, who was down four to two into this third period. Uh, made a tremendous comeback, tied it up, you know, basically with no time left in the third period, wins it in overtime. Both players in that overtime, and, and perhaps even more so in this game, being a lot looser, right? I mean, it, I don't know if you saw, there's a lot more aggressiveness on the checks. Uh, a lot less just contain and clog in the middle. They were just kind of free playing in that overtime. Um, real fun to watch. Both had their opportunities, but AJ comes out on top and the home team wins yet again. So uh, going to go back and give Bob K now his opportunity to be at home. And I think so. they're going to select uh, an LA Buffalo matchup with, uh, with Bob K Buffalo at home and AJ, who's also pretty deadly with the LA Kings, um, uh, away. We get to see your favorite player on the ice in this one. Alexander Mogilny, yeah. And actually, he's even, yeah, he's even more, I think, my favorite player in the SNES version because of that skating. I'm not so crazy about shot power and, um, and weight, etc. because if you could dodge and, and dangle, um, sometimes that's all you need. Angry Jay up two games to one over Bob Kadelski. I'm Trojan with King Raff. This is the Modonimo Problems 2 SNES Online Finals. So what's all this about? Well, we didn't do our Super Nintendo tournament at our live event because we didn't have anyone from Canada present. So we extended the Genesis tournament and decided, hey, we'll do the <laughs> Super Nintendo version online. Uh, you know, our friends in Canada were mostly unable to uh, even think about coming across the border we don't blame them we understood and so we had pretty good participation actually participation we had 15 players in the midst of all the other things going on in the community that that, that uh, kicked in for their entry and um, uh, a lot a lot of really competitive uh, matches throughout the tournament so uh, let's talk about so you know if I call this matchup who, who would you want in this situation uh, whew. you know what? As much as I love my uh Alex McGilney, I think just LA is just so much more stacked. Um, uh, you got so many players on offense, even the light Gretzky is is useful here. Jimmy Carson is a, is a beast. Um, whereas you're gonna really predominantly rely on, on McGilney here, so I'd probably go with LA just for the depth, you know, and both I like their defensemen better too. Blake to Carson. On the back, boy, he sure has moves. Sandstorm. Uh, 25. Is that uh, Huddy? Sidor. Sidor? Uh, I think that's Sidor. Yeah. That's usually a popular option, too, on the LA defense if you're not a big fan of McSorley. All right, here comes Howard Chuck RIP. Uh, boy, he looks fast on the ice. Yeah, game to game. Yeah, you know, it, some players have that burst, and you could really notice it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, completely vacated net and a completely whiffed shot by Sandstrom into the stands, and we'll have a face-off and neutral ice. Cheers to you if you got him. I'm drinking Yingling. Sneak box game. So this being 2-1, this is a potential elimination game here in game four. Bob K needs to win to force a deciding game five. And uh, Blake puts one on the stand, so. Yeah, two by the city. way, first two games we had was a, a two to one game uh, win by AJ, a, a two nothing win by Bob K, and then we had a five four overtime win by AJ with a massive comeback in the third. So, uh, extremely tight, amazing uh, series so far. Oh, and a turnover, and Jimmy Carson, the great one, mm -hmm. one nothing. The real great one. You know that one. <laughs> if he asked slap shot Sean. <laughs> the real great one. Yeah. All right. So Bob Kagan look to get that one back. Mogs are on the back of the net, biding his time. 
finding an option. Oof. Nope. Sandstrom says, get out of here. Here comes Luke Robitaille. Wanting to find a friend out of the back of the net. Behind Fuhr and uh. goes Spinorama backside. And Fuhr slides out of the way and says, here you go. Put the goal in. Yeah, so Bob K really, I mean, ever since game three, really chasing a lot more. Whereas in the first two games, they were just standing, clogging, waiting, being patient. So I don't know if he's just feeling a little frustration here. Uh, wants to move the action more, press more. Um, but it, it's it's been it's been hurting on on the defensive end some more. Even just like that, right? He's going. I mean, he, luckily, fortunate got back on Noah, but he missed a check, and that led to a pretty significant opportunity. That's what a check was actually pretty awesome. There, uh, we have <laughs> Lafontaine uh, tries to go right in on Rudy. Turned away. Now here comes Blake. Takes the zone. Now comes back to Sandstrom. Now to Carson, and he is checked by Swoboda. Peter Svoboda to Howard Chuck and a post. So that's uh, number six uh, remaining. Uh, we'll see if we can use the remaining five posts before the game is over. It's 2 nothing <laughs> into the second period if we potentially deciding game four. Yeah, aggressive and have worked over there as he got the, the check in the corner led to the nice uh, breakaway opportunity, just another post. Schmillick to Howard Chuck gets checked last moment, can't get the puck off his tape. LaFontaine has it, gets checked from behind. Blake scoops it up, now lost to Mox, puts it just through the crease, can't make it on net. Sador mm -hmm. to Sandstrom to Robitaille, checked by Schmelik. Carson feeding a defenseman. I couldn't see who took the shot, probably Sador. And now it is all the way back to the Kings, Ugh. picked up by Rudy, and the that's off the moorings. That's uh, bizarre play, yeah. Definitely not the player he wanted to shoot the puck. And the icing gets diverted, and the net gets knocked off, knocked off the moorings because uh, no one's able to actually grab the puck. Very weird. Puck is scooped up by Fuhr. Now to Mogilny, taken down. Blake's got it. Three on two. Finally checked by Schmelk from behind. Puck is loose. Hmm. And Rudy has it. Can't quite get a check. I was trying to get a body on Mogilny. And oh. checked into the bench. And it's going to be a penalty here against Buffalo, against Dale Howardchuk. And we'll yeah, have a power play. Yeah, on that one. Uh, no doubt about that call. Uh, not making it easy here for Buffalo. Now they got to knock off this check as uh, they're down 2 nothing and 2-1 in the series. Bob K needs this one to force that game five. Otherwise, it's uh, the end of the tournament here. Puck scooped up by Sador to Robitaille. And almost short side, but it got held up just the last second did Sandstrom. McGillney has the puck now to LaFontaine. And a one-timer bounce is off, I think, if that was Sador. And uh, he'll have a bruise tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it was an absolute rocket. I didn't even know if he made it through or whoever bounced off of was feeling that pain. Pretty sure he has a broken leg. And oh, the one-timer to Robitaille from Jimmy Carson all the way across the slot on the far side. And 110 remaining here in the second. It's 3-0. Yeah, nice puck work by the Kings to move around, evade those checks, and had the, the beautiful one-timer set up. There was no doubt about that one going in. Carson trying to make it four. Loses it. Schmelk has it. We're under a minute here, 40 seconds. A check, multiple checks. Puck floating around. Anyone's puck. Svoboda has it. And a one-timer, really good idea, but Rudy picked the right side of the net to be on. And that's the end of two angry J up three nothing over Bob Kudelski, going to the third period in this dis potentially deciding game four. Yeah, that, I mean, it was Rudy picked the right side, but that was an AJ Manuel goalie uh, read that all the way to save that because I th also thought that was going to go in. But tremendous uh, instincts by AJ to keep this a shutout so far. It's going to be real tough for Bob K to come back here. Carson. Being patient, being held. The friends are there. Can he get away? Nope. Svoboda has it, clears it. And Svoboda has it again after the rebound out of the back of the net. Ooh. LaFontaine uh, let it go. I'm not sure if he was trying to pass it. It just was off target there. Now Carson has it and tries to put it on. Fuhr turned away. Carson being held. Shot on net, turned away. Robitaille yeah. around the back of the net. LA just controlling the puck, controlling all the loose pucks. Great manual goalie there by Bob Kudelski. Sandstrom Steven had him dead to rights right in the slot. Need something here. 
not happening. The the physicality of the Kings is showing up here. And just oh, the, the puck control, right? I mean, even if they're getting the puck knocked away, oh, it's just gorgeous. I mean, nothing really Buffalo can do here. Even if the puck's getting knocked away, even if they were being held, they're still controlling the puck. And even when Bob K gets it, it's just the skaters for Buffalo are kind of all over the place. It's one, one of those games that's extremely tough to deal with, uh, especially when you're playing against a high-caliber opponent like AJ, uh, who doesn't normally make mistakes. Um, to, you know, at this point, you know, game's pretty much over. You're not going to come back four goals. But that's just solid play when, and a really tough offensive struggle for the Buffalo Sabres this game. Robitaille on the wing tries to feed a centering pass to Carson and gets intercepted. Now the other way, LaFontaine takes the zone. Taken down by Carson. We have one minute remaining in the third period. Carson bounces it off the back of a pad, scooped up by Swoboda. McGilney puts one on. He gets on the board here with 34 seconds remaining. Uh, you got to get a faceoff one and three goals off to those faceoffs. It's almost impossible. Uh, but uh, we'll we'll say this one is not over till about five seconds in. Yeah, mathematically possible. I like that Bob K is going to go for it all, pulls the goalie here. I just want to call another game just for fun. I, I was kind of ah. hoping he'd pull it off. <laughs> We'd have something historic there, but I think this is going to be it. Uh, many congratulations here to Angry J93 puts a goal in. Oh boy, there's not people fighting there. I guess you take it once there. <laughs> Three seconds yeah. remaining here. Maybe you want to, yeah, get get Jimmy Carson on the board. Stat. Yeah, yeah, maybe that was due for his. Uh, I mean, it is a Stanley like Cup goal, right? Or uh, <laughs> our, our Lord Manly Cup goal. Yeah. Uh, o o almost as prestigious. Thank you, King Raf. Uh, tremendous having you here. Angry Jay, congrats. Bob Gadelsky is not going home empty. And now, um, stay on with me. I'm going to uh, make your face disappear for just a moment here. No problem. So I got to make sure that we have. To go the, so we, I think we had all 15 participants in the bracket. Yes, we did. So what we're going to do is, so we see the numbers here for the seating. Angry J is one, Anatar is two, Bob three, Dangler four, Professor, Professor five, Mooney six, Tecmo John seven, DPS is eight, Skills is nine, Fed is uh, ten, Kids Wasted is eleven, The Wiz is twelve, NAU Husky is thirteen, and Elvis is fourteen, Dan K is fifteen. Uh, you must be present at the next live tournament to win this, otherwise we'll just put it in the tournament prize pool if you can't make it live. But we're going to do a run, uh, number randomizer, 1 through 15. And I'm going to hit it three times. Click, click, click. And the number that shows up is the number that we're going to go with. So 1, 2, 3. And I don't know if it's showing up here. I'm going to pull it over a little bit. And it's 14. So that is going to be Ellis. Congrats to Ellis. You win the signed Chris Chelios jersey. And uh, to Sweet. be claimed at the 2023 uh, tournament. So uh, w presumably it's going to be called Modonimo Problems 3. I'm assuming everything will be in Minneapolis again. That's our goal. And then, hey, 90 bucks and free entry to Angry Jay uh, uh, for that tournament. 90 bucks is coming his way. 60 bucks to Bob Kodelsky. So, again, not leaving empty-handed. And uh, uh, I don't know about you, but I got a beer in my hand. So um, I'm I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, and I'm going to finish that beer <laughs> uh, uh, maybe right here on stream. Let's see if I can get you back on here. What did I? Where are you on my thing here? There you are. All right. We're going to finish the beer on stream. And if you got one, I hope that you guys will do the same. There it is. All right. One, two, three, go. Uh, oh, and it's gone. Stuff. All Cheers. right. Cheers, buds. Thank you, King Raph. Congrats, everyone. Uh, thanks, everyone, for participating and the support. We'll have something soon enough for you guys to come back. But enjoy all the classic leagues, all the streams going with that right now. And probably in about a month or so, we'll have something else for you guys to bite uh, your sink your teeth into. So, all right, Raph, let's, right, let's sign out.